Hey guys, my name is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about an important topic that is related to data sets. Machine learning, AI, data science, data analytics. I know all of you are learning these kind of concepts. Many of you are in the journey of data scientist. Many of you are in the journey of becoming a data analyst. But the most important question or the most commonly asked questions from my students, from anybody that are following my channel are, Sir, how do we prepare portfolio projects? We are done with this course. We have taken this course. We have taken that course. We have finished your course, blah, blah, blah. I have done self-learning from your channel. Many type of students, but ultimately the final question is project. Where do we get started with projects? What type of projects should we use in our resume? What sort of data sets that we can go through? What are the different data, data set sources? Data sets ka se milega? And most of the common answer that any AI guru or anybody who is running a channel gives is Kaggle. Well, Kaggle is an important source of data. Apart from data, it also has notebooks, discussions, multiple other things. So no doubt, Kaggle data sets are one of the best sources of data sets. But is Kaggle the only platform where we can get data sets from? No, there are multiple platforms. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the five top plat top five platforms where you can get public data sets and you can practice and do your portfolio projects. What should be your portfolio projects based on your background? that I was planning to cover in this video, but I don't want to make this video a very long 20 minutes video. So that topic I will keep for the next video. In the next video, I will be talking about what a fresher should, uh, what type of projects a fresher should do, what type of project should a experienced professional do and so on. Multiple scenarios are there. I will be covering scenario by scenario in the next video. So if you actually need that video, let me know in the comment section. But irrespective of the fact you let me know or not, I'm anyways going to do that video as part of the next uh, video of the channel. So this video, we are going to focus on the top five websites to get data sets, to get public data sets, including research data sets, non-research data sets and so on. So let's get started. So the first website that we can go through for downloading tons and tons of data sets is everybody's choice that is kaggle.com. Everybody knows about this platform. It's a very well-known platform where you can find competitions, models, code, discussions, and tons and tons of data sets. Now, when it comes to data sets, there are multiple data sets related to machine learning, deep learning, computer vision, NLP, data analytics, just go through them. And in most of the data sets, you will also find some of the notebooks that you can refer. But as I told you, do not copy paste any code, take references, create your own model, create your own project, beautify it, and then showcase it in your resume. Talking about the second platform is paperswithcode.com slash datasets. You can see right now there are 8048 dataset results, but new dataset keeps on getting added here. And you can see there are so many datasets related to CIFAR 10, ImageNet. So some most of the datasets here are related to deep learning and computer vision space. The third most important platform is visualdata.io. So you can check out this particular website. If you go to show data sets, there are multiple data sets that you can go through. Again, this is also a great website where you can get data sets from. And these websites are very less known to the larger audience. So your projects could be unique as well. The fourth website I would like to talk about is quantumstat.com so you can go through index.quantumstat.com and here you can see multiple projects multiple data sets that are available here and last but not the least we have 
this library.cmu.edu here you can see a lot of data sets related to covid 19 text data set machine learning data repositories and etc etc now these are just five of the platforms where we can get data sets from there are multiple other websites as well very less known to the larger audience and let me know if you know any other platform where we can also download data sets from let me know in the comment section below so that people can be more uh, people can get more information about these websites so that's all about this particular video on the top five data sets or top five websites that provides public data sets for practicing if you are in your journey to become a data scientist to become a data analyst machine learning ai nlp deep learning computer vision then explore these five websites there are tons and tons of data sets go through the data sets right now the community is strong enough that you don't have to perform or don't have to work on a project from scratch definitely there will be a lot of blogs a lot of github repositories where you will get some standalone code that you can refer never copy paste a project go and refer some projects refer some codes and implement your own project and then compare your results with that code with your code you should always have a better accuracy and better model performance so that's all about this particular video i hope you took something from this video in case you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel and agar aapko kuch doubts hai anything related to data analytics data science python machine learning there are multiple communities that i am running links will be in the description below join that group and let me know in the comment section in case you have any questions you want to talk to me let me know in the comment section below because i go through each and every comment and i reply each and every comment that's all about this particular video next video as i told you i will be coming up with a very important topic ki projects kaise pick karte hain and projects pe kaise kaam karte hain in that video if time permits i will also explain you few more things on how to perform data storytelling in interviews but let's see that's all about this video see you bye bye